Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a Sub-Zero refrigerator. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today we have a service call for a Sub-Zero refrigerator. It is hidden behind all these cabinets. It's currently not operating. And I do see some kind of service codes. I had a 50-EC, 40-EC right there. 50-EC, 40-EC, 1174. Got a lot going on over here and it's super warm. Okay, so I printed out a couple things. I don't have the full manual here, but I have a couple things. It does say if EC is observed in the right display, then the numbers on the left are error codes. So these are the error codes I got. So we got a 50 EC and a 40 EC. So what is 40? Excessive freezer compressor run, 50 excessive refrigerator compressor run. All right, so they've been running for too long. That's cool. But then what is 07 and then 77 and then 11 and 74. As far as Seven it says freezer cabinet thermistor read open or shorted for 10 seconds But then 11 I don't see anything I Gotta see <laughs> what does all this mean? They said this thing has never been serviced Condenser is here Wow, I actually hear the compressor running This thing is running We have horrible temperatures Interesting here it is. I hear the compressor running. Look at that. Hacked. I touched it with my hand, that thing almost burned my hand. Two, over 200 degrees, jeez. 221 degrees. Let's see, is that condenser fan operating? All right, so I pulled this thing out a bit. Compressor is super hot, condenser is ridiculously hot. We got that error code that this was running for too long and it's overheating. And I can see right now that the condenser fan motor is not operating. So I'm gonna take a reading. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that motor is about 170 degrees. So most likely it's getting power and it is not operating. So everything is just overheating and we're not getting anything good. So that's the fan motor right there. So this thing is running, but with that fan motor, it's gonna overheat and we're not gonna get good temperatures. So let's try to get a little more access in here. It's hard to pull this thing. Let's turn off the power for now. Let's see, unit off. Okay, lights went out, compressor stopped. Let's try to get some access in here. Pretty sure that motor was getting voltage since it was hot, but this is the plug it was plugged into, so I got my meter across it with volts. What I wanna do is just turn this on, just make sure we got the voltage, so we can confirm that thing is bad. Yep, 120. That's a bad fan motor. All right, nothing. Let's go ahead and see if we can pull this thing out. I took out the two screws holding up the shroud. And then it looks like I could just lift it out. Here it is. All right, so we got everything pulled out. I just started the unit. Compressor is running. This is having trouble. But look, once I spin it by hand, it goes. So this motor is just getting stuck. Definitely needs to be replaced. All right, guys, I was able to track down the exact motor. So let's begin by taking this apart. We got one, two, three screws, and that should loosen up our motor. Here's the blade. We're gonna reuse that. There's a little clip to hold in the blade, and here's the shaft. So if we take out that clip, just unscrew it off. The blade will come out. Take out the three screws in the back. Everything will come out. So. Let's transfer everything. 
take some needle nose just to hold this in place and then I can spin this out. All right. And now the fan blade is out. Now we can focus on this. Got three quarter inch screws. So we're just simply gonna take those off and just transfer this onto here. Okay, that's out. Let's match up this one the same exact way. And now let's get this one in. I'm just gonna put back the same three screws. All right. New motors mounted. Now let's just go ahead and get the fan blade in. Right there. And we could drop this in and just tighten it down. I'm just gonna drop this in. Just slide this in and just put the two screws back. All right, the new motor's in there, looks good. I got two wires and I gotta cut into this. Splice them, wipe off this dust and test took off the thick dust on top of the condenser. I don't want to give this thing a cleaning if it doesn't work. So we changed the motor, got that going. Made my quick connection, just got things out of the way. And I just want to run a quick test. Hopefully it works from here. And then after that, we'll just give this thing a cleaning. But the main thing is to get this thing going. This thing is filthy. All right, I can feel the fan moving. You guys can see it. We got good airflow now. So hopefully this thing works. Let's give this thing a chance. Got 120 and down one. 120, 115. Alright. This one's running. I think the other one's working too. Got the system running right now. I press down on the door switch, the light does turn off and the evaporator fan does start, at least for the refrigerator. And I put in a thermometer inside and it's slowly coming down. We were at actually almost 80 degrees when we started. It was pretty hot in there. So let's give this thing a chance and see if the temperatures drop slowly. It is coming down. All right, we stepped out to grab some coffee and the temperatures are coming down. We got 48. 1 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that is a beautiful thing. So from here, looks like the idea is gonna be to clean this condenser and pretty much do some maintenance around this unit. And we just want to get this temperature down. So we're at 48 on the dot on the way down. So let's give this thing a chance. And this condenser definitely needs to be cleaned. Thermostat is set to 35 degrees and look at that. 34.9 we have it now that is a beautiful thing so we came in here we had some error codes and we found a dirty condenser and we had a bad fan motor changed the fan motor brushed down the coil and we got good temperatures from here i really do want to give this thing a cleaning because there is dirt inside we got most of it but i would like to either acid wash it or at least blow it out with pressure like with nitrogen or an air compressor and get all that other dust out this thing is pretty dirty but that was a service call it's gonna give this thing a cleaning and we're ready to roll we got great temperatures and that is beautiful if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week and i'll catch you all next time